Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. We are here in Lightroom today, and what we're gonna do is a teal and orange edit to this sunflower photo. So here's our before, and here is our after, and that's quite a difference, and I think that looks pretty awesome. And this teal and orange look is definitely an acquired taste, but depending on the photo, I really like it, and I really love the contrast and kind of the cinematic feel. So what I'm gonna do is walk you through step-by-step step of how we created this in Lightroom. So let's get right into it. So the first thing we're gonna do with this photo, this is our after, and what we're gonna do is create a virtual copy of this image, and that creates a second copy right here, and it takes just a second to load. Now what's awesome about Lightroom is a virtual copy does not create an actual copy on your hard drive, it just creates a copy of all of your edits without taking up extra space on your hard drive. That's one of the awesome things about Lightroom. Now, the next thing we're gonna do is go to settings and reset. So this is absolute zero. This is the raw image I took with my Canon 5D Mark II. And I took this image quite a while ago. If we look at the settings here, um, it doesn't give me the date, but I believe I took this photo in 2014. And you can bring that up by just hitting Command I. You can see all of my settings right there. Uh, 5D Mark II on a 24 to 105. And I did use some fill flash. You can see some of the shadows here. I was shooting against the sun just before sunset. And I wanted to make these oranges and these yellows really pop. And the fill flash really helped with that. So I'm gonna hit this little triangle to close my little film strip down there. And what we're gonna do is, let's get editing with this photo. The first thing I did was I cropped this guy down a little bit, and I really wanna bring this flower kind of to the forefront of this image and make it the focal point. So we're gonna crop down quite a bit. This sunflower down here is a little bit distracting because it's very bright and it's much larger than this one, so we'll crop in just enough, and we'll make sure that this guy is kind of just off center there we go and i really like this road that goes back here too let's hit that and i think that looks pretty good for our crop so let's get into our basic editing tools first of all for profile i'm going to go to adobe standard adobe standard just feels like it gives me a slightly wider gamut and um color range to work with so i usually start with that and then sometimes i'll come back here and I'll play with other profiles and see what their contrast looks like. But we'll start with that for now. And let's take a look at our white balance. I'm gonna try white balancing from the clouds up here and see how that looks. That looks pretty darn good. I'm fairly happy with that. I'm noticing my horizon might be slightly crooked. So I'm gonna correct that now. There we go, I think that looks pretty good. I make minor edits to the crop as I go. So let's scroll down and take a look at our exposure. And I think I'm gonna bring our exposure up just a hint. That looks pretty darn good. And we'll bring back these um, values in the sky because they're not clipping. So we do have that data there from the highlights. I'm gonna bring our highlights down quite a bit, negative 100. That way we can preserve all of this detail in the clouds. I'm gonna bring my contrast up a touch. I think that looks good. I just want these yellows to pop a little bit and I wanna have some nice value there in the shadows. And I'm also gonna bring up my shadows quite a bit because I want this detail here in these leaves. I think that looks great. I'm gonna make my whites pop a touch Make sure my clouds look nice. And then I wanna bring down some of these shadows a bit more, so what I'm gonna do is bring my blacks down. I think that looks pretty good. I think the contrast looks great. Let's scroll down here to presence and play with our texture clarity and dehaze. I'm gonna give this a touch more texture, and as you can see, that kinda of does like a sharpening effect. It's more like a mild clarity, which we are gonna add a little bit of clarity uh, that might be a little bit too much. I'm gonna bring it down. I always love going overboard and then bringing it back down slowly. I think that's just enough contrast to really make this guy pop. But again, our out of focus areas, we don't want to be too contrasty. That ends up looking very strange. 
and I want this to be like a nice dreamy cinematic looking sunflower field and I don't necessarily want it to be overly sharp. I am going to bring our dehaze up just a touch so we can get some contrast in the sky up here and again bring back some of our darker values that we lost when we brought up our shadows. I'm also going to crank our vibrance quite a bit and then bring down our saturation. And right there looks about good. And before we start our teal and orange look, I'm just gonna make sure I do some little bit of sharpening to this image. To make sure these leaves are nice and sharp. I make sure I sharpen all of my photos and there is a little bit of noise in this photo. So I'm gonna bring up our noise reduction. Just a hint, that looks pretty good. And after we've adjusted our detail to taste, I'll usually go down here and I'll make sure I have lens correction enabled and removal of any chromatic aberration enabled as well. And usually Lightroom does a pretty good job of that itself. Sometimes I'll have to go in here and play with the distortion of the frame a little bit. But again, that really all depends on the photo itself, what lens you shot on, and what your personal taste is. But I think that looks good, so let's actually get into our teal and orange edit. So I'm gonna go to our HSL tab right here. And with our HSL tab, you can see hue, saturation, and luminance. We're gonna start with hue first. And one of my favorite tools is this targeted adjustment tool so that if I don't want to play with these sliders, I can literally just click and drag on the image and Lightroom knows what color I'm selecting and adjust that color or that color range. So we'll undo that. And what we're going to do is start with our reds and our yellows and start moving those towards orange. So I'm going to click this yellow right here and I'm going to start dragging up and that actually started moving our yellows towards the green, so I wanna move those the other way towards the orange. And that's starting to look pretty good. And I'm gonna take our greens and move those towards the blue. Actually, I don't think that looks very good in this instance. I'm actually gonna take our greens and I'm gonna move the greens towards the yellow as well. And that's really gonna warm this image up quite a bit, but that looks a lot better. Now it's really gonna depend on your image, whether you take your greens and you move them towards the yellows or towards the blues. And right now I'm actually gonna start taking my blues and dragging, actually I'm gonna have to drag them down so they become a little more teal. And we're actually getting pretty close here I think that's a good start for the hue. We can always come back, but that is a good start. Let's go to our saturation tab. So in our saturation tab, I'm going to select our targeted adjustment tool again, and I'm gonna bring up the saturation in our oranges and our reds right in the flowers. We want some nice saturated oranges, and I'm going to do the same with blue. Bring up the saturation in the sky, so click and drag up. Now I don't want it to be too saturated. In this particular instance, I might go in here and adjust this manually. And I'm going to bring down our greens quite a bit to really emphasize the blues and emphasize those oranges or the teals and oranges. So I'm gonna click and drag, really bring those greens down. I'm also gonna bring, well, that was way too far. I don't want to completely lose the green. That looks pretty good. And I actually might bring our yellows down because yellow is kind of adding to this greenish hue right here. And as you can see, when I brought down the yellow, the saturation in the green came down quite a bit. Now it still looks a little bit funky. I don't want this to look like a selective color image. And I don't want our greens to be too desaturated and look too unnatural. So I'll bring those back just a bit. Now, luminance is one of my favorite tabs in this HSL window. Again, I'm gonna click our targeted adjustment tool and I'm gonna go back to our image and I'm gonna bring up the luminance in our yellows and oranges, really make those pop. And I'm gonna go to our sky and I'm gonna bring down the luminance of the sky a touch. Oh, that's a little bit much. There we go, that's a little bit better. And I think 
Let's see, the greens are looking a little bit dark. Let's bring those up a hint. And I think that looks pretty good. And let's bring up this reddish hue in the center of our sunflowers. And that'll just brighten up our entire sunflower there. That's looking pretty darn good. And in our oranges as well. There, that's looking a little bit better. And let's see, let's bring down our aqua tones in the sky just a bit. And I think our sky is looking a little bit oversaturated. So let's bring down those aquas and those blues a bit. I don't want this to look too unnatural. And I'm also going to take our reds. This is looking a little bit reddish. And move those towards the orange. Move our yellows towards the orange. And this is all just a matter of taste and just kind of tweaking the image to where you like it. So I think that looks pretty darn good. Let's take a look and see this is the image we are trying to recreate, the teal and orange look. And those two images look almost identical. I cannot tell the difference between the two. I think that looks pretty darn good. So let's take a look at the before, our completely flat raw image straight out of camera. And there it is, there's a very dull kind of boring flat image. And again, here is our after. I really like what these oranges and these teals look like. And I think this image turned out pretty good. Now, when it comes to the teal and orange look, some people love it, some people hate it. And I know it's way overused on Instagram, but sometimes it does look good and it does complement the image. Now, it's not something to overuse, but that is absolutely up to you as the photographer and the artist. So that is all for this video and this Lightroom tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Make sure you hit that like button. Let me know down below in the comments what you think about the teal and orange look. Do you love it or do you hate it? Make sure if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button so you're getting all of my new videos. And of course, share this video with a friend that you think might benefit from this teal and orange editing tutorial. So I will see you guys next week. And until next time, get out and go shoot.